Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandon here with Ballast on Flipping and uh, kind of slept in today. Um, anyway, we got that glider Arctic with us. This is one of the uh, original beta versions and it is still beautiful as ever. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> today I wanted to talk about a story um, that came up yesterday when I was in an Instagram live. And yes, I've said this in the past, but if you guys uh, like hearing me or want to see me more, I actually do go live on Instagram more than YouTube. So if you want to stop by there and give me a follow, then that'd be great. But anyway, um, I, a story came up yesterday where I was talking about how I broke my left hand twice. In fact, uh, just like that little dot there. See that dot right there? I don't know if you can notice that. But anyway, I had to get a fishing hook put into my hand. And yes, that was the best recommendation by a surgeon because it was the only thing that was um, that like like that kind of metal and that kind of shape to fix the problem. But that was the first uh, break. So let me tell you how I broke my arm twice and how I now know everything with my right hand because I was born a lefty. That's right. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, basically the first break was when I was younger. Um, I would say probably, probably like, let's say 12 and below, I think. Um, at the time, I don't remember exactly, maybe seven, I don't know. So, um, where I live, they, uh, in the backyard, there was a, um, like a jungle gym slash playground area. And you know the little monkey bars that you climb on? So my sister, uh, who's one year older than me, um, would like walk on the top. And I thought that that was the coolest thing ever, you know, cause that's not how you're supposed to use them. And, um... You know, I, I think she had more balance than me because when she wasn't there, I went to try it myself, you know, because I was kind of scared and not confident enough to do it with someone around. And lo and behold, I fall right through and I smack my arm on the swing set on the way down. And uh, I didn't cry, believe it or not, because I think I was in shock. But yeah, I walk inside and I notice my wrist is over my hand and uh, then I start crying. And then we went to the hospital. And then I got a cast and then I had to do that for years. I had, I had the surgery and yeah. So I had to start um, learning how to like write and eat with my right hand. And then um, what ends up happening is later on when I am about, I think I was 15, 14, 15 or 16, right? Um, I'm in my neighborhood where I grew up initially and we thought it was fun around that time to take a trip on the ice cream truck. Like there's this little platform on the back of the ice cream truck. <clears throat> I would never do this <laughs> ever again. I was just young and dumb, but I'd hop on the back platform and I don't recommend anyone ever try that because the worst possible outcome happened. So normally ice cream truck drivers go very slow through the neighborhood, but uh, this ice cream truck driver was finished with their route. So when I hopped on the back with my friend, they started speeding up because they were leaving the neighborhood and the light just changed green and they were trying to make that light. So they were going even faster than fast. And so my friend jumps off immediately off to the left. It was just like this, where there was grass on this side and I'm on this side where the street is. Um, so he jumps off and rolls in the grass and I only, I'm only looking at concrete. And I, I was just dumb at the time to not like slap on the truck to make him stop because I, I think back and think, yeah, he probably would have stopped. I just didn't want to get in trouble. So I jumped and I did like all the movie said, you know, tuck and roll. And I guess you could say it kind of works because I didn't hit my head, but I broke my arm again. So and then um, my amazing, my amazing friend named Chris. Uh, gave me a ride home. He towed me home on his bike and even though I told him I said hey My arms bleeding onto your brand new white jacket because he was talking about how he just he said that's okay I'm just trying to get you home. What a great friend um, But yeah, anyway, that's a story of how I broke my arm and um, If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I tell a lot of stories there. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and yeet